folks. I'm a little bit late to the party, I know. Phoenix 1.8, the release candidate, was released on March 30th. We are on May 29. I am one month late. But it's better late than ever. So here I was, reading this big announcement. And the first thing that I read is Daisy Y. Now, Daisy Y is new to me. I have heard of it on Twitter, but I never actually did any research on it. So when they announced that they were adopting a UI library, initially I was a bit hesitant. I was like, man, this is a very niche UI library. We're probably going to have to install Alpine or another micro JS library. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But then I did my research and I was impressed. I feel like this was the right move from the Phoenix team. And I feel like we finally have a UI component system library for Phoenix, which is the missing piece, right? Every time somebody complains that, oh, I cannot use Live View because I don't have a Shed CN. And we do have a couple of UI libraries that are made for Phoenix. But here's the thing. They are specifically made for Phoenix. They are very niche. Elixir and Phoenix are already very niche. And then you create a UI library that works only for Phoenix. I would feel more comfortable if I used something that is adopted by an entire community. That's why I feel very comfortable using Tailwind because everyone uses Tailwind. JavaScript developers use Tailwind. PHP developers, Elixir developers, everyone uses Tailwind. And apparently, Daisy UI is framework agnostic. If you click on the installation, we have a way to install Daisy UI on pretty much anything you want. And then if you click here on Phoenix, of course, starting from Phoenix 1.8, you can simply create a new project. And there you go. So this is the first piece of good news. I was like, okay, this is not tied to Phoenix. It is a generic library that everyone can use. This makes me comfortable. But then I thought, okay, but I probably need to install Alpine, right? It's kind of impossible to have a pure CSS library. You need some form of JavaScript. It's inevitable. But I was checking the tutorials. And yes, we do have some JavaScript. I even started a new Phoenix app using 1.8 to see how this UI works. So if you open up the assets folder, vendor, we do have daisyui.js, which is, of course, a big JavaScript file. And we do have daisyui theme. So yes, we do have JavaScript. But if you open up Mix, well, we have your regular yes build, Tailwind. Can you see any Alpine here? No. Do we have a package.json? Nope. So we're still Node.js or JavaScript free in a way. We don't have a package.json, which makes me happy. There's no Alpine. So the two prerequisites that I had for a good component library, Daisy UI checks. Now there's one thing that I'm not a big fan of. Instead of having components, you use classes. So it's similar to Bootstrap in a way. Now, if you like the bootstrap, this is good news for you. But after the Tailwind wave, many people were against classes like BTN, BTN primary, Flash, Toast. So if you open up core components, let's do a comparison. On this new Phoenix 1.8, if you search for Dev, Flash, as you can see here, the class of this component is toast. Toast, top, we have the class alert. Sure, we still have the Tailwind classes like cursor pointer, opacity, but we have this higher level classes like alert and toast. So if I open the same component on an old Phoenix application, opening up TechSchool, my open source project, core components, 
the class of the div is fixed, top 2, right 2, MR2, and a whole bunch of other classes. And with Daisy, you start writing this bootstrap-like classes of button. I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer having independent components that you can import, like shed scene. But I think that's a compromise that I'm willing to take in order to finally address the missing piece of Phoenix, which is a UI library. And folks, this thing is so cool. As you can see on the new Phoenix version, we're using Tailwind V4 and Daisy UI version 5. Let me open up localhost. We have theming with Daisy UI. We have light theme, dark theme. All the buttons and main components were revamped by Daisy. And I'm going to be honest, this looks really cool. I even created a new route called machines. Oh, of course, I need authentication. Let me log in. We have free magic link authentication on Phoenix 1.8 instead of the traditional email and password. If you want just email and password, you can use it, but I prefer using the new default of magic links. Then I need to visit the mailbox page, click here, and I am logged in now. Using the new Phoenix scopes for authentication, I can go here. I can add a machine of whatever, whatever. 198, zero number, save machine. There is the new toast component from Daisy. So yeah, this video is just an appreciation video for Daisy. And I feel very comfortable now going back to live view for my projects. I'm not gonna lie. I have been using Inertia and React on my last SAS that I'm about to announce. Stay tuned. Mostly because I like React, but I also wanted to use ShedCN. It's kind of amazing. But with Daisy, I have a batteries included philosophy on the UI layer as well. And check the amount of components that we have here. We have loading, alert, man, even calendar. This is crazy, honestly. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.